Hello and welcome back my friends. I'm out in the backyard food forest this evening, so I gotta keep my voice down because it's getting a little bit late. But what I'm gonna be doing is some manual pest control. I'm gonna be going after primarily slugs this evening, maybe some snails. These are nocturnal pests. They come out at night. They cause a lot of destruction to new seedlings and transplants. If you've direct seeded and they start to sprout up, they can literally wipe out an entire row of whatever it is you planted overnight. So it's really important that we take care of this and get ahead of the game up front. Now there's many different ways to deal with slugs and snails. I've spoken on that in the past. Uh, I use some of those methods as well, but this is really what I recommend doing as your first line of defense is getting out there manual control. So I've got my headlamp on, I've got a jar for doing a bit of collecting, and I'm also wearing a glove. So let's go out into the garden and see what we find. So I know I've got some slugs out here because I've seen evidence of it. Let me show you one plant over here. So down here I had a black cherry tomato transplant that I plugged in. And you can see it's probably not even going to survive at this point. It's literally just a stem in the ground because it's gotten eaten by something. Now, surprisingly, I'm not seeing any slugs around here at the moment. Generally, if you see some damage and you come out the following night, you're gonna find them slugs. So let's just see what's going on out here. Now, I don't know how well this is gonna come out on video being out here with this bright spotlight on my head, but hopefully you guys can at least get the gist of what I'm doing out here. Okay, so here I've actually found a little pill bug. I wasn't expecting to find him tonight, but we'll go ahead and throw him in our collection jar here and get him out of the garden. And look at here, we got a little baby snail We'll go ahead and remove him. For a slug video, this is turning out to be something entirely different, huh? <laughs> I guarantee you we're going to find some slugs tonight. This bed is looking pretty good. And as you can see with the plants, there's not much damage. So we'll just move along, keep looking. Aha. So here's a big fat slug right here. It's that easy. So take your time. Look over your crops. This is, only takes about a minute, you know, for your typical backyard garden. You can really sweep through and survey the whole area in a very short amount of time. So besides the fact that they're slimy little things, and wearing a glove is a good idea, because some of that slime can be kind of hard to get off your hand, some slugs can actually carry some pretty bad disease, one known as rat lungworm, commonly found in Asia, the Caribbean, Africa, Hawaii. Here in the United States is extremely rare, almost non-existent. I do know of a few documented cases, at least a couple in Texas, so you know it's better to be safe than sorry, but for the most part slugs are completely harmless. And there's nothing to worry about here in the States. So with that in mind, I'm just going to continue my hunt here. It's actually caused by a parasite found in rats and it comes out in there. What's well, a round worm comes out in their uh, feces and then the slugs uptake it. We got a little baby snail there. So we're finding a nice variety of pests out here tonight. Here in this pepper bed, you can see the damage on the leaves. And here we go, here's a slug here. We got an escapee here. Get back down there. Here's another one. Just one little slug like this, it's amazing how much damage they can create over the course of one single night. So you get out here, you do your manual controls, and you save your crops from destruction. It's really easy, guys. So there you have it, my friends. No need on me dragging this video out. But, you know, we've got a little collection here. <laughs> Again, these guys trying to escape. Now, what you do with these is up to you. Can relocate them I'd suggest taking them completely out of the garden if you do that um, of course you can exterminate them even feed them to livestock like ducks my chickens don't want anything to do with these usually so anyways I hope you guys found this video helpful and you take me up on the challenge of getting out in your garden at night doing a bit of manual control I guarantee you it's gonna make a big difference in the amount of damage you see on your plants 
So with that, have yourself a great rest of the night. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.